everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a discussion on use of the volume pedal when we play the pedal steel guitar. I've got a close up during that version of Danny Boy of me using my volume pedal. I actually think of it as an expression pedal more than a volume pedal. It certainly deals exclusively with volume. The normal volume pedal on a steel, when you've got the pedal fully up, as I've got it now, is zero volume, zero output going to your amplifier. As you increase the pedal, like an accelerator on a car, the volume increases up to maximum volume that you've got set on your amplifier or your recording equipment. But we don't really use the volume pedal to turn on and off the volume. It's an expression tool. It's a tool we use to add expression to the music. It's easy for steel players to fall into bad technique and rely on the volume pedal to cover up, for example, an inability to block correctly on the steel. And I have a, another tutorial devoted entirely to blocking. As an example, if I play a single string melody like this, I'm relying on my picking technique to stop the notes from ringing on. Otherwise, it'd be like this. I'm going. But a bad use of the volume pedal is to do this. often hear a lot of beginner steel players pump the volume pedal to cover up poor hand technique. So Danny Boy becomes this. We've probably all heard that, but we don't want to hear that. We use it to add to the sustain of the steel and build that expression to the melody. Very occasionally, we will pump the volume pedal. Very rarely, though, that's a deliberate effect there, like a volume swell. The late, great Curly Chalker was a legend at doing what in brass terms or wind instrument terms is called a fazando. That's where we hit a note or a chord hard, back off the volume and then back on the volume again. So he would often do those sort of big band brass sounds on the steel. Again, that's an effect. So in a nutshell, we use our volume pedal in the same way that a vocalist captures their audience by using dynamics in their voice. It's an amazing tool on the pedal steel. If you're having trouble playing and tending to rely on your volume pedal to sort of cheat, the best idea is to just put your volume pedal on a certain volume, take your foot away from the volume pedal and try and play what it is that you were relying on with the volume pedal. So. Learn the blocking technique so you can stop and start notes and chords as you wish without relying on the volume pedal. Hope you've enjoyed that. Bye for now. <laughs>